you guys. <laughs> Look, I'm using my vlog camera, so if you see me looking up, that's why I am trying to get back used to it because I was using my cell phone for a long time. So majority of videos that you guys watch is on my cell phone, a couple on my iPad. So yeah, guys, I don't know about this hair, but hey. Yeah, I don't know. Makes me feel really momish and it covers up a lot of my face, but we're good. Anywho, wanted to pop in really quick and get a video done. Um, just to talk to you guys, you moms out there, moms to be, future moms. I've talked to every woman because you'll be a mom one day if it's the Lord's will, but the mommy glow up is all about encouraging moms to declare more than mom to say goodbye to fear and hello to life so i am here to just talk about what i'm going through in my life what i've been through in my life as a mom because i feel like i've been through a lot since um i want to say high school but my problems really popped off when I became a mom six and a half years ago is when I really started going through some things now that I think about it like just mentally physically emotionally spiritually financially um, the farthest that I can think back is when I became a mom I kind of not kind of I just lost it I lost myself I was insecure, I was depressed, I just, I was that mom, I just sunk. And I was at a stage in my life where I didn't know what was going on. And right now I wanna let you guys know that I've overcome because of the Lord himself. I'm a follower of Christ, so um, if you're not a believer in Christ, you might not want to watch my videos because I'm going to talk about the Lord all the time because, yes, without God on my side, I would probably not be here today. I mean, I've been in phases of not, I mean, suicidal thoughts and everything. Even, I believe I had it while I was a mom, but when I was in high school, I used to deal with suicidal thoughts and tried to pop pills and that was, yeah. It was tough, so I'm not really saying that those thoughts crossed my mind as a mom, but um, I've been through some things, and that's why your mind is so powerful, and what you think is so powerful. Um, but that's not what this video is about, but I want to encourage you to think positive thoughts, because now that I'm thinking about it, I brought this book with me um, that I bought a while ago, actually. And I don't know if this is going to show backwards, but Believe You Can by John Mason. Um, I bought this a while ago. I'm the type, I'll pick up books quick, especially if they're cheap, and I got this from Walmart. Walmart always, always has some really good, excuse me, some really good books that are very cheap um small reads so i'm gonna start this one this one was 5.99 so i think i actually paid less because they're they be like 20 or 30 or 40 percent off so yeah um believe you can the power of a positive attitude having a positive attitude as a mom is so important and then if you are a wife or a wife to be or you're just in a serious relationship Having a positive mindset is everything, especially when you are married. Um, marriage is not easy. Motherhood is not easy, but you have to always have positive thoughts. You have to think positive. You just have to know that you are going to make it. And if you're having a tough day, you have to know how to talk yourself through the day. You know, how to, you have to know how to pray yourself through the day, whether it's um, just pray out of your mouth or journaling or whatever you just have to know how to pray yourself through the day you have to talk yourself positive th positively through the day and you have to know how to affirm yourself and you have to know scriptures um you just have to be able to get yourself through and if you're not there yet you need to start figuring out what works for you what works to get you through your day you have to figure that part out so anywho i'm rambling because my video is all about um the fact that I'm learning to embrace the process of my life. 
And while I am embracing the process, meaning I'm releasing control, I'm surrendering all my plans because I realized that that's where I've come to. Like I have to release everything that I have been trying to do, everything that I have been trying to control because over the years I realized that um, my way is just not working. It's just not working. Why? I do not know. So... <laughs> I have to release and a part of releasing is starting over maybe um, a part of releasing is um, just letting it sit evaluating and coming back um, and not asking how and when because I had a conversation with a friend of mine I'm so I'm, I'm so thankful for the relationship that I'm building with her I actually met her on Instagram um, started talking to her on Instagram. Maybe she'll be on my videos because I want to start showing some of my mommy friends on my videos. So, um, we had a conversation on Instagram. We were chatting on messaging. And we were talking about focus. And we were talking about how as we pursue freedom, and in my case, as I say goodbye to fear and hello to my glow or hello to life, because if I'm saying hello to my glow, if you hear me say that, I'm I'm saying hello to life um, and goodbye to fear and worry and doubt and everything else that comes along with that. But we were talking about as we are trying to embrace our freedom in Christ or wh whatever your definition of freedom is, how things will start happening in your life that will try to put you in bondage or enslave you or just stop you in any kind of way and spiritually it gets deep on that end but i'll just say this that once again you have to know how to um discern what's going on in your life you have to be paying attention you have to be focused because we all are focused on something, but what you focus on magnifies. So for instance, if things are not happening in your life and you complain and, oh, I can't pay my bills, you're focusing on you not being able to pay your bills. So it's magnifying, right? You're focusing on you not being able to pay your bills. So it magnifies. Somebody just pulled up because I'm waiting at worship service. So I need to hurry up and speed this up. It magnifies if you're worried about what your husband is not doing that is your focus and it's gonna magnify itself if your kids are acting out and you feel like you can't get control over your kids you're focusing on that so it magnifies um, so at one point in my life I was focusing on what was not happening for me in my life why things weren't happening for me why was I feeling the way that I was feeling why is my husband doing this and why are my kids doing this and why am I always broken why can I get out of this and why can't this happen for me that was the focus so it was magnifying so instead of focusing on the positive and focusing on what I can do to get out of certain things what was magnifying itself was continuously happening because I didn't change I didn't I didn't I didn't shift my focus to staying on the positive things and magnifying the positive if you get what I'm saying so um that was our chat for today so we both gave each other revelation because I told her to focus and as I was telling her to focus I was telling myself to focus so we just had revelations for each other and when we're going through the process of life and we just want things to happen um asking how and when is going to magnify itself so if you're like how is this going to happen i don't know when this is going to happen when is this going to happen for me lord how is it going to happen Lord? if you're focusing on how things are going to happen it's going to magnify itself and then you're going to get worried because you don't know how or you're trying to figure out how on your own instead of letting life just flow or instead of just letting doors open up for you 
that is what's going to happen. Are you like, when, 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 Lord, when, when this, when that, when is this going to happen for me? When am I going to get out of this? When is my marriage going to get it together? When am I not going to be broke? When am I going to be prosperous? When is my, when am I going to fulfill my purpose? How am I going to do this? How am I, I don't have the money for this. Like, I no longer ask that because that was my focus and it was magnifying. And then I was at a point where I did not know how to talk myself out. I didn't know how to pray myself out. I didn't know how to cite some verses to get myself out of that if you get what i'm saying this video can have so many different topics right now but um asking how and when can be positive or negative and it depends on how you're doing it <sighs> so to break this down asking how can be like I just said, I don't know how, and you're in a mood of depression or it's a negative, how am I going to do this? When is it going to happen for me? Oh, woe is me. Um, that's what's going to magnify itself. Now, if you're being positively, positively about it, <laughs> if you're being positive about how and when, you'll, you'll just do. Like, you will just go with the flow. You will embrace the process. You will do the work. And as you're doing and being, how and when is going to appear. Got it? How and when will just pop up. And it's going to be a surprise. But as long as you're doing, working, and you're being who God made you to be, your faith is there, how and when will pop up at the right time and because you're doing and you're being you will be prepared so if you're focusing on how and when but you're not preparing you're just crying and complaining and oh woe is me you can't be doing anything so you're not going to be prepared because how and when could come along and you miss out on that opportunity because you weren't prepared because you were complaining about it i've had so many years of that so many years of that so if you j will just be like i just watched this i watched this video oprah's um interview with stanford school of business stanford university school of business it was awesome and she could not stress enough about just doing the work and embracing who you are and being like embracing your being she stressed that so much and because that's what she embraced every time how and when appeared she was ready she was prepared so she didn't miss out or in my case she didn't delay the process because as you're going through the process there's stages and you have to make sure that you're doing your part as you go throughout the process. So for instance, Oprah, from the time she started her career, she was embracing her process. She was doing and she was being. So she was always prepared when that how and when door, there's a door with how and when on it. When that door opened up, she was ready to walk through it because she was doing and she was being. Now, just imagine if, and if you know Oprah's story, um, you know, the what she went through to get where she's at, her being a black woman, you know, just all the things that came along with just her being who she is. She could have complained. She could have been complaining and crying and I don't know how this is gonna happen. She could have been using excuses like, oh, I'm a black woman, this is not gonna happen for me. Just little things like that. We would probably have no Oprah today. We probably have nobody like Oprah, like a woman like Oprah that paved the way for someone like me who wants to be on TV or on radio or in entertainment communications or whatever. We probably would have no Oprah if she were if she was complaining about her how and when but instead she was embracing her process so her how and when she was always prepared for it mm, 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 mm. i just explained that so well right <laughs> but the reason that i i i talk to moms because it wasn't really until I became a mom and I had fallen into like 
I don't even know what it is. I'm so for afraid to go back to it. But it wasn't until I became a mom that a lot of things starting to op like open up for me. But I was so caught up in so many things in a depressing how and when that I couldn't understand how to get out of a lot of things and why things were happening to me. And you have to think about how this can affect your children, your marriage, your life, your being, your doing. You have to pay attention to that. So I want to encourage you. I just talked about so many different things, but I just flow. Like when I press record, I flow. So I hope you guys are under understanding guys or mainly women are understanding what I'm trying to say. But I'm just here to encourage you to embrace your like embrace your process and as you're going through your process make sure that you're doing and you're being and your faith is there and that you know how to affirm yourself you know how to talk yourself out of situations but most importantly that you're focused on the positive um you're focused on your why you're focused on your vision and you're you are always doing and being so that you're prepared for when how it's gonna happen happens and when it's gonna happen happens because <laughs> we don't know how and when a lot of times we don't we might have our own plans but it doesn't necessarily work out that way so you have to make sure that you're doing and you're being because when how and when is gonna pop up and you're not prepared I've had so many doors I feel closed on me because I wasn't prepared for how and when so now I'm learning to be prepared and just do um, and me talking to you right now you watching this video is, is an example of me doing and being and um, don't be afraid just embrace it because like me I embrace this when I press record I embrace this this gives me freedom and this is a part of the process for me and I love sharing this like I love being open I love encouraging like I love it with my whole being um but at one point I was afraid to do it because I was I used to think about what would people think of me what would people think of me but it's not about that it's all about fulfilling your calling and your purpose and another thing i will always remind you of mom is that we are here to be more than mom some women god created them just to mother but i know for me i'm created for more than being a mom and a wife i have the a, a deep perp like god has created me for something so extravagant and i feel it and um you have to embrace your purpose and your calling so if you have a desire to do something and it just bothers you you can't sleep at night you should be doing it you should be doing it um like this for instance for me is like i said something that i love so i'm i'm learning to embrace it i'm learning to get over the fact that thinking about what other people are gonna say or think or anything like that I mean I don't care I don't care I don't care <laughs> that's what I say I don't care I don't care what other people think because at the end of the day they don't pay my bills at the end of the day I'm not being obedient to them I'm be being obedient to Christ at the end of the day I have a purpose and a calling to fulfill and it's it's my purpose and my calling is connected to other people but it's connected to him up there first and then it comes down and goes out to the other people and i have had so many years of delaying my process or allowing other people or situations or circumstances to come in and delay my process that i am tired and like i don't want to do that anymore i don't want to do that anymore so i am doing and i'm being so i can be prepared for what for my how and my when <sighs> so i'm done y'all i'm done i'm done this has been bothering me for like the last three days, so I had to get it out. But you know, no excuses. I, I'm not about to make an excuse, but as a mom, you try to find time to do things. Y'all are going to start seeing my kids in my videos soon because I'm just not going to care and I'm just going to get it out when it needs to come out. It's all about obedience and it's all about doing and being because I'm not perfect and I'm not about to try to make my life seem perfect. That's not a part of the process. Perfectionism is of, it's not good. So if you feel like you're dealing with perfectionism, please get over that because I was at that stage in life too. 
so until next time you guys i just want to encourage you to affirm yourself do whatever makes you glow say goodbye to fear and hello to life hello to your glow um and come back and see me comment leave comments or go visit my instagram page at the mommy glow up sorry guys if i'm looking like all over because there's so many cars like just in and out and stuff like that but um do what makes you glow because we are living in days where you have to just embrace your life like you have to embrace and live life every single day because you just don't know what's going to happen so I'm sure you don't want nothing to happen to you and your worst regret was that you didn't fulfill your calling or live the life that you desire to live um yeah yeah so I'll talk to you guys because I'll keep rambling <laughs>